found Cressman was in what he thought was a happy and loving relationship with Jane Andrews, before he was tragically killed. His life was cut short by the former royal dresser, who was convicted of murder in 2001. Who was Tom Cressman? Tom Cressman is a former stockbroker, who was killed less than a month before his board. Cressman ran a successful business selling car accessories and mixed in the upper echelons of London. Because of her supposed financial hardships at the time, Andrews moved into Cressman's flat in Fulham shortly into their relationship. Two years into the pair's relationship, it became clear that Sarah Ferguson's dresser Jane wanted Tom to be her future. How was Tom Cressman murdered? Andrews beat Cressman, 39, to death with a cricket bat and stabbed him in September 2000 She left him dying in his bed as she went on a run, calling and messaging friends to ask about his whereabouts. In May 2001, Andrews was ordered to serve a minimum of 12 years after an Old Bailey jury accepted that she killed her part. In November 2009, eight years into her jail term, Andrews absconded from open jail after another man she had become obsessed with failed to visit. She was caught just three days later. Despite being branded a danger to the public, Jane was up for release and left prison on license on June 19, 2015, but was jailed again three years later for harassment, before she was released again in 20. What has Jane Andrews said since Tom Cressman's death? It was reported on March 3, 2021, Jane had been shopping in Lincolnshire where she Jane told Julie Bindle in the Sunday Telegraph, I will always regret what I did, it was a terrible thing to do, but I deserve to live the rest of my life without always looking at one of Jane's supporters, Bindle revealed Jane is terrified of the public's reaction to the documentary for his killer dresser, the Jane Andrews story which airs on ITV on March 3rd, she said, this is the fifth time there's been a documentary about her and it's the same old stuff being dressed, she's terrified of remorse for her crimes, and wanted to write to the Cressman family to do exactly that but wasn't allowed to by the prison authorities.